Okay, we're back. It's been only seconds, uh, but this video is probably going to be a bit better because it'll start to pick up and be fast now. Although I feel like I regret cancelling that video and stopping the video. I should have just let it run on, but I'm not going to. I've done that. I can't even move the camera again. These are the vegetables. Oh, shit! These are the vegetables we're using in the soup. Um, and I've got a bit of sweet corn and a bit of defrosted cauliflower and the seasoning sachets are in the bowl with some soy sauce, sesame oil and chili, like the actual bits from the chili oil jar, like the chili. This is about to go, things are starting to get golden, the garlic is starting to get tacky and it wants to stick to my spoon, it is going to go immediately. I'm going to put this heat, this pan on now to preheat. That needs the onion going in. Onion going in. Onion in. See, this garlic has just gone right now. So now we're right at the edge of acceptable garlic. I don't think I'm going to catch it in time because I want this onion to do something. I don't want it to be boiled onion. So kind of above the hot plate so it's still catching residual heat this garlic it's all oh, fuck me okay I left it too long it won't be a problem but in the grand scheme of like I wanted the onions further along than this and now they won't have the chance to they'll have to kind of be a bit boiled So one green chili, three cloves of garlic, a little chunk of red onion, just for kind of colour and umami. No, so I love like the allium family. So. <coughs> I'm starving though, oh my god. So I'm gonna have to put the fan on now. Bit of water. This pan also needs water. This is where we're going to boil. Uh oh. Oh shit. We're going to boil the dumplings in this one so it needs quite a lot of water. And then additional water going in this one for the soup. That's too much water, but that's how it's going to be. So now we've got the soup in there. Well, the water in there. So we're going to add the dried mushroom, the dried porcini mushroom. These are, these are mushrooms that my friend picked for me and then I clean them, slice them, put them in the dehydrator, jarred them in probably a profoundly unsafe way but I don't care. They're still crispy when I take them out of the jar and that's fine. This is like a basic broth. Now I have done it with half a chicken stock cube in there as well thinking I would take it to like a new dimension. But I found that when I introduced that level of like chicken stock base flavor, it really like eroded away from like everything you get from the seasonings in the bowl, which is the most essential really. That's like everything you need is in this bowl. And I think that's another reason why I quite like kind of like Asian dishes is Everything's given a base flavour, but then when you, it's really custom, it's custom to the, to the eater, and I love that. Right, so this is a good boil, kind of worried about how steamy the lens is going to get now, but this is where we're at, because this is the most important thing. That can just do its thing, but what's being timed is the dumplings. The dumplings take six minutes, and at basically two minute intervals, we're going to be adding things to the soup in here, and then that'll time out well. So, a good boil. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh no. I feel like this is the fastest way to like really fuck your phone up. Oh, don't melt the cable. <laughs> oh my god. <coughs> I am dying. I am literally dying to death here. This is going to be my final moments. They're going to be recorded and not 
in a good way. Like, you know, like she died doing something she was shit at. It's so sad. I cannot get this to stay up. This is my own fault for breaking the lever arch. What am I going to do with this? I can't put this here. This can't be here. This can't be here. It's not, it can't be there. So now that I've addressed that, it's moving away. It's going over there. Somewhat out of sight. You just have to take my word for it that it's over there now. Oh my God, right. So that's on six to try and get the hot plate up to temperature. This, I'm gonna have to shut this down because it's gonna like fucking, the onions are gonna be to crap as shit. I really should have thought about this and I did. That's like the tragic part. This is interesting. Oh, it's the oil from the peanuts. Peanut, the ground oil. It's like, it's got like a kind of film on top. I'm into it. I'm into it. You can't get like proper chili flavors if you don't have oil. And now we're killing time again, waiting for the dumplings because like I said moments ago, the most important thing is the dumplings. God, am I gonna be able to use the timer when I'm doing this? Oh shit, son. That has to come off there. The onions are gonna be nothing. Right, that's off there, that's chilling, that's doing what it's gonna do. I need to think of a timer. Do I have any other type of alarm? It's 2023, I use my fucking phone, man. Oh. We're just gonna have to use the time on the laptop. Just irritating because things move fast. So I'm gonna take the dumplings out of the freezer now, actually. These are the ones. These are my favorite pork and chives. Europe's number one dumpling brand. Number one dumpling brand in my house too. Mainly because they're the only dumpling brand I've ever tried and I love them. So that's now boiling, but not quite enough. So I'm gonna give it another couple of seconds. I'm gonna put the soup back over here to do its thing. This is on three. That's on six. This actually is starting to look really cloudy. Probably the mushrooms and the onions just given up because it's red onions. Oh, okay, it's fine. That water's looking better. A nice boil. So, pan off. No steaming of the lenses here. Look how fast I learn. I only got three dumplings left. So sad. So sad. Okay. Three dumplings are in. Yeah, that's it. That's so sad. Stirry, stirry. So they just don't get stuck to the bottom. They could be a bit pernickety. And now, two minutes. We need to make a note of two minutes because things are going to start getting pretty hot and heavy. In fact, I'm going to put the carrots in now because when I had them yesterday, they actually were quite firm. So a little handful of really thinly sliced heirloom carrots. That's why they're a kind of light colour. Um, cute though. Then, the issue is the frozen cauliflower which normally I'd like something green, like a green bean uh, or peas, some kind of green, but I don't have anything in except for like a tiny amount of frozen cauliflower, so that is what we're having. Um, oh, oh, I didn't look at the fucking time. <sighs> Honestly, this is why I need a timer. Right, let's call that one minute. Oh no, no. Right. Oh shit. I mean shit. This is on four. Somehow I've turned it down. This is on five. This needs to be doing more. Looking okay. obsessed. 
obsessively at the clock now, which is sort of distracting my focus from the soup situation. Um, God, a minute is a long time when you're paying attention. This is now on four, but I'm going to keep an eye on it. I don't normally do my dumplings over there, and sometimes they can get really fucked up, so I'm not happy learning on a new plate while it's being recorded. That's making me sad, actually. This. Okay. I think it's been about two minutes. I could have looked at the time on the film. Oh, God. I feel like when I uploaded this, it's going to be really obvious it's not been two minutes. <laughs> so dried seaweed is now going to go in. Let's take a moment to have a look at this. You see how tiny these little bits are like literally tiny little crumbles they they fucking like rehydrate to be like actual seaweed chunks it's wild and um, the instruction says that you should like put them in cold water same stuff but I mean you saw me put just the dried mushrooms straight in that's how I roll I want that flavor in there I want like any kind of excess salt or something I'm fine with that going in from the seaweed that is um, mushrooms like fine with that I don't mind a bit of grit either they're all local so it's all good um yeah now feel like another minute <coughs> oh, oh my god I'm dying so now I'm gonna put the noodles in and these are three minutes wait what am I doing I have no idea how long everything's been cooking for. I can't even think. I've chosen the worst fucking day. Like, my brain. <laughs> my brain. That's it. Right, in they go. Can't be asked. This is how it's going to be. We're going to be doing it more by eye. So, noodles are going in. Can't get them out. Oh my god. Now, you might have noticed that they've come out in four chunks. That's by design. Obviously, food purists the world over are going to be absolutely horrified by this, but I eat my noodle soup with a fork and a spoon, not chopsticks. Well, I, I used to use chopsticks, but then my disability got wild, and then I couldn't, and then eventually I, would, I have been able to use chopsticks since, but I'm just sort of in the habit of using my fork now, and I don't mind. Um, so, noodles are in, these are fast. Now, one thing I've learned is to underdo the noodles in the pan because the bowl they go in ends up so fucking hot, it'll literally continue to cook the noodles in the bowl. And if you want it to keep that ramen spring of like a tight coil and be like bouncy, you can't cook them the whole way in the pan, like you can't. So. These have got the basic softness things happen, so I'm going to add the frozen cauliflower in, which has not really defrosted, it's still pretty fucking frozen, so that's going to slow the cooking down and heat up. Also, look, let's take a moment to look at the seaweed. Look at that! Look at that! Can you fucking see that? Look at the state of that! Fucking huge! Oh, it's so hot! Ow, oh, shit! Oh, sweet corn. I forgot the sweet corn yesterday, so this is sweet corn that was from a can. This is looking good. Oh shit, the dumplings. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so these maybe one more minute and then I'm gonna take them out. I can see the pastry is starting to like give it up. I'm gonna try and turn them a bit. I'm gonna put the lid on. Now the only thing left to go in the noodles is all the enoki mushrooms, which I'll just put in literally right at the end. Once I've decided to deal with these, I'll put the enoki mushrooms in and just close the lid. And let's see. Oh, um, so maybe these. Um, this is bubbling gonna add the enoki mushrooms in. 
I've torn them into like little fun chunks so I can eat them easier. Um, push it down. Lit. Okay, turning the back one off and draining the dumplings. not what normal people would do but I've left a tiny bit of water in there it's a dangerous game to play don't put them on a hot plate but I'll leave a bit of water in there because I found that if I don't then the pastry can get stuck to the bottom of the pan as it cools down and then it'll tear the dumpling and it's not okay so this is good this is done so as fast as that we're done I can switch this off now the soup. How this works is a small spoon could just go in there for a little rinse. Don't want to waste the spice. Now, probably not going to be able to see this, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour some of the soup liquid from here into here and mix it because the oils and the um, seasoning sachet need to be whisked fucking hell all the plates are hot like i can feel the ketchup manis stuck to the bottom of the bowl because it is that sticky the mixing and i put some spring onions in there already because i like that to kind of permeate through with the flavors so now we're gonna just put all the things in here And it's a big bowl. It's like a big bowl. And I've definitely added too much liquid. So it might end up being like two portions because I've added too much liquid. But I will just eat that later, to be honest. See, I could already see the noodles are too far gone. This is very sad. Okay, some vegetables. Then, want to mix, mix, mix again because all of that seasoning, like there are solids, especially with the chili, like chili, you see, look at that, it's all stuck on the mushrooms, which would be some very spicy enoki mushrooms coming my way. Also, the flavors um, in Asian cooking tend to be carried by oil, and the oil can float to the surface, which is why it's important to mix like Asian soups and Asian di dishes as you go along otherwise you'll hoover up that top layer of oil and be wondering why like suddenly everything's kind of less flavorful as you work your way through the bowl trying to get the vegetables out <laughs> struggling and failing I should have got some tongs or something really want the seaweed fucking I'm so impressed with the seaweed love it and it can go in the cupboard like forever pretty much and this is like my ultimate like store cupboard soup or pantry soup because I always have like enough things that I can make kind of filling soup this looks extreme but it is what it is Mix, 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 okay. Dumplings. For me, I just nestle them on top. I found previously if I put them down, they will overcook because the bowl, like I've mentioned before, just retains so much heat because it was the bottom of the bag. There's excess pastry, so it's like that in. Quick check to just try and get the last of these vegetables out. Oh, God. I mean, the corn is like basically a lost cause. 
because it is just not cooperating getting on the spoon. I'm, I'm giving up, I can't, it's gonna like actually destroy my soul. So, doing this, now, oil, oiling the dumplings, trusting that it'll all slide down again anyway, oiling the dumplings, yes, a couple more spring onion bits. And so concludes the soup. Let's try and take this out here. 